Welcome to this tutorial on using the What If Analysis tool in Excel. This tool is designed to help answer questions and experiment with the data in a data set. You can find the What If Analysis tool under the Data tab over here where it says What If Analysis. Click on the drop down box What If Analysis and you can see there are actually three types of What If Analysis tools. There's the Scenario Manager, Goal Seek, and Data Table. So let's take a look at Goal Seek. This tool actually calculates the value you need to get a desired result. Now I'm using a data set of student grades. These are 20 student grades and we have exam 1, exam 2, exam 3 and then we have labs in Excel and homework in Excel. The overall grade average for each of these students is calculated as follows. You can see in the formula bar 25% of the grade is for exam 1, 25% of the grade is from exam 2, 25% of the grade is exam 3, that's A2, B2, and C2, and then the Excel labs, which is in D2, is 15% of the grade, and the homeworks are worth 10% of the grade. So this student, for example, student 1, it's in row 2, but it's student 1, has a 69 on the first exam, an 85 on the second exam, 76 on the third exam. His labs were 80 percent and homework 85 percent. So that calculates to an overall average of 78 using this formula. All right, now what happens if the student wants to know, well, let's say I want to get a 90 in this class. Okay, he has a 78 average. A student might come up to me and say, what grade do I need to get on the third exam to end up with a 90 average? What grade do I need to get on exam 3 to result in a 90 average? Remember, the goal C calculates a value you need to get a desired result. So what value do I need for exam 3 to get a result of 90 for the overall average? So in order to do this, first place your cursor in the cell where you want the result. So that would be this cell. That has to be the cell that has a formula. Now go to the Data tab, What If, Goal Seek. Okay, so the set cell is F2. And then we want to set that to a 90 because the student wants to know what grade they need to get to get a 90 as an overall average. By changing what cell, that would be Exam 3. So Exam 3 is C2 and then we click OK. So you can see the student would have to get 124 on exam 3 to get a 90 average. Uh, that's not going to happen. Okay, let's do that all over again. We have a student here who hasn't taken exam 3 yet and he wants to know right now his overall average is a 59 and he wants to get a, at least a B in the class. So he wants to know what grade does he need to get on exam 3 in order to make sure that his overall average will be 80 or higher. So in order to get an overall average of 80, what is the grade he needs to get on exam 3? So what we do is we place the cursor in F2 and that's where the formula is. Then we go to the data tab, what if, click on goal seek, in the goal seat dialog box, the set cell is F2, which is what we want. We want to set that to an 80 because this student wants to get a B or higher in the class, so that would be an 80. By changing which cell? By changing C2, exam 3. So we're going to put in C2. Um, I could also click on it and it would put C2 in there. And then if I click OK, it does the calculations and it tells me that the student needs to get an 84. If this student gets an 84, they will have an 80 average. So they have to get an, at least an 84 on exam 3 in order to get a B or higher. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something.